All right, so my name is Abi, uh, and I'm standing here in front of the Portage Canal, uh, right next to the uh, Portage Lake District Library. And uh, my point, what I'm trying to do here with this video is to show you how to use this neat little device called the Solar Pathfinder to figure out where the best place to put solar panels on your property would be. You can put them on your roof, you can put them on a ground-mounted, uh, you know, uh, array. Uh, but the important thing to remember is to account for shading. So um, when you stand here and you look at this, you know, this flag post right next to me, for example. Uh, today is the 23rd of July um, at 7 p.m. And it's relatively easy for me to say, okay, well, this, this thing casts a shadow here. You know, it goes all the way across this little uh, parking deck. Uh, this is probably not the best place to put solar panels, right? But what about, I don't know, 9 a.m. on a January morning? What about 6 p.m. on a September evening? Um, so instead of spending a year trying to, you know, take notes of where the shadows are falling or not, uh, what you could do instead is to buy uh, or use one of these neat little devices called the Solar Pathfinder. Now, the Solar Pathfinder, you could buy one of these for $250, $300 if you want it to come with... Uh, a little tripod thingy, um, but the Portage Lake District Library is considering uh, purchasing one of these for its patrons to use. Uh, so when you look in here, uh, the right here is the latitudes for which, which this particular chart would work. So anywhere between 43 degrees to 49 degrees north latitude and Houghton is at around 47 or 48, uh, this chart would work. So these lines here represent different months, so they go all the way from June till December. Now these vertical lines here, they represent the time. So you start here at 6 a.m. going all the way down to 7 p.m. So the intersection of these would represent the time of the month. So for example, uh, this point here would be 10 a.m. in the month of March. This point here would be uh, 3 p.m. in the month of April and so on. Um, the beautiful thing, so the, I, I absolutely love this device, the, the uh, beauty of it lies in its elegance, is once you put this dome on top, and you look at it, uh, um, the other important thing, by the way, I should have mentioned, is there's a little um, magnetometer here uh, that points, compass, uh, my friendly assistant tells me, that points towards south, so um, you're, you want your solar panels to always point towards, point towards the equator, and since we happen to be in the northern hemisphere, you would want to point south. And this little um, clinometer, I believe it's called, uh, a little bubble, tells you if your device is level. So as you look at this from the top, you can see a little shadow going all the way here. What this means is between noon and 1 p.m. at all through the year, you know, starting from, uh, what is this, June till the end of December, you would your solar panels if you decide to put solar panels here will have a shadow uh, this tree casts a shadow here so if you looked at it you know if I turned around the tree is all the way over there and you wouldn't think that this tree has the ability to cast a shadow all the way over here but this device tells me that the top of the tree here casts a shadow on my solar panels between uh, 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. in the months of June to May. Um, that, that's all there is to it. It's really simple and trivial to use uh, and I hope you can make use of this to make an educated decision about where and how to put your solar panels. You know, not all of us have the ability um, to have a clear solar window on our properties. Sometimes you might have to make a, a little bit of an executive decision to maybe top the, uh, chop off the top of a tree, for example, and things like that. Um, if you need help with um, solar panel installation for free advice and consultation, you can always visit uh, www.solarizehoten.com. Thank you and have a nice day.